Hello everyone, welcome back to Fanatical Finance, and today we will be talking about credit scores. So, let's get started. What is a credit score? Technically, your credit score is just a three-digit number. However, that three-digit number tells lenders how likely you are to repay your loan. Here's a quick example. Here we have Susan and Bob. Both earn the same salary. Susan is financially responsible. She puts her money into her savings account and continues to invest as well. She has already paid off her student loans and still pays off the mortgage of her home and car. Also, she makes sure to pay her credit card bills on time and to never max out her card. Bob, on the other hand, is very clueless about his financial responsibilities. Bob has many credit cards and maxes out each of them on unnecessary purchases and luxuries such as fast food and continuous online shopping. Bob has many overdue bills on things such as his apartment rent, student loans, and of course credit card bills. If both Susan and Bob come to the lender asking for a generous loan, who do you think will receive the loan? Well, if you said Susan, you're correct. The main reason the lender would rather give Susan a loan than Bob is because Susan is way more reliable to pay off her loan in the time provided by the lender. Lenders invented the system of a credit score so they would not need to browse through a person's financial history. Banks and other lenders use your credit score when you apply for a loan such as a student loan, car loan, line of credit, business loan, and finally a mortgage. A credit score ranges from 200 to 850 points. The average credit score for Americans in 2019 was 695, which goes down as a good credit score, but there is clearly room for improvement. Scores above 640 usually receive better interest rates, while scores under 620 are given high rates and sometimes are even denied loans. Excellent credit score is required to take a good rate money you borrow from a lender. Let's say Susan's credit score is between 800 and 850 points and Bob's is around 600 to 650. Susan would receive rates near 3 to 5 percent and would pay 300 to 500 dollars a month. On the contrary, Bob would have high rates at 15 to 25 percent and would pay a whopping 15 to 2500 dollars a month. The easiest ways to get good credit is by limiting the usage of your credit card sticking with the same card for an extended period, and finally never missing a payment. Well, that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to watch more financial content and drop a like as it helps the channel. Leave any comments for future videos. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram at Fanatical Finance, linked down in the bio. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.